either. I don't know if that's just my imagination. And give them credit that they kept their confidence because sometimes when you get stuffed big in the running game early, especially for an entire half, it really makes you retreat a little bit, but not this group. They always have the confidence that they just get their assignments down, they get in sync with their runners, and off they went. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Now I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. A play fake to Montgomery. Now Trubisky. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. First down for the Bears, a gain of 15. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. From the 22, Trubisky, the connection made, it's Graham. And they'll get this down to the 10. 12 yards there and a first down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, and go like turtle at this point. You just go ahead and play. they just add to their totals. Even though they've got this big advantage, Charles, they are not taking their foot off the gas pedal right now. Well, I think what we're seeing is the result of all their great preparation and great practice time during the week. And even though it seems like this is a great chance to pull people back and maybe, you know, not try and score a few more times, they don't want to do that. I think they're enjoying what they're seeing, the collective effort, and they want to play it all the way out. And he'll bang that one through. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. Pat O'Donnell to kick off for Chicago. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will make it into the end zone. And no return forthcoming for Richard as this will come out to the 25. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. From the gun, it's Carr. He's got it to Williams. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 10 yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. 
Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. To throw again on second down. Carr. And the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Now a pass hauled in downfield. Give him 30 yards there. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. And all the way went up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Again, they'll throw with Carr. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. That's sacked by Khalil Mack. Another try after the first down sack. Carr. And that one drops to the ground. Incomplete. Clock stops here just inside of 20 seconds, 19 left. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. To the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. They go for it on fourth and goal, but that winds up incomplete. They had the play call on fourth and goal, but it's dropped in the end zone. And the Bears will get the football back. They'll run on first down. It's Montgomery. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the 22-yard line. Today, so this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long.